Hi Spock. This is the update video about the clownfish that went down the tube into the anemone. That video is coming up on 600,000 views, which is amazing. <laughs> and there was a lot of comments over the last two and a half years of what would happen, would it work out? And I'm gonna address some of those points in this video. So, so as you can see, there are a number of skunk clownfish in this area. There's a couple more over here in the Duncans. Occasionally I'll see one up in the hammer coral. They were all added at the same time as you saw in that video. And I, as far as I know, I still have all 11. Uh, it's kind of hard to do a head count. I typically try to count when they're all heading that away for the Eheim auto feeder each afternoon. But I haven't counted in the last month. But last check was 11 fish. The anemone had decided to hike to the back of the reef and then it floated up into that acropora at the top and then I brought it back down to this spot. Something you'll notice that's changed, there's not a white coral right here from that last video. That was a bird's nest that had died the night before I shot that video and I bumped it when I was doing the tube and you know people commented on how I killed this, this dead coral. <laughs> it was already dead. Uh, in the meantime, you'll see a few other things have moved about. This big section of the chalice is dead. And if I were to move that coral out and put a different coral there, the anemone would just sting it and kill it anyway. So I've kind of left this dead zone around it to kind of keep that anemone in that spot because it is a showpiece uh, coral uh, animal and it, it just stands out so beautifully. This is a sea bay anemone. A lot of people ask me what kind of anemone this is. And these are skunk clownfish. And a lot of people say, well, can I put a bunch of other clownfish in my tank? And the answer is always skunk clownfish or harem fish. Basically a harem fish means that you'll have a very large one and then the next size down, next size down, next size down, next size down, all the way down to the smallest one. And as long as they are all the next size up from the one below it, everyone gets along. But when two become the exact same size, that's usually when there's some squabbling. And I'm noticing after two and a half years, there's a little bit of squabbling. Uh, before I shot this video tonight, I saw one of the skunks in the back of the reef kind of watching me as I was cleaning the glass. And I thought, all right, all right. You'll also notice that they're kind of cleaning the rock here and there. And like right here, this one might do it while we're watching. And typically when a clownfish cleans the rock, they're preparing the area to put down eggs. So I keep expecting to see some eggs happen from these fish that they would breed together and possibly lay a clutch, which would be pretty amazing. These are tank bred clownfish. They were not taken from the ocean. They came from sustainable aquatics. I got a heck of a deal. As I mentioned in the original video, I got them for $5 each, which is crazy cheap. And they have definitely given me plenty of entertainment over the last two and a half years. I wish they stayed as a total group in this one spot, but they spread out a little bit. What else did I see people ask me? Oh, other people told me they tried the tube and some of you had success getting the clownfish into the anemone and some of you didn't have any luck. So I guess it really comes down to the temperance of that fish and how it feels about being added to an anemone. <laughs> I still can't say it. Anemone. That's so funny. Why do I stumble on that on camera? Will this last long term? Can I go five, ten more years with these clowns in this anemone? I don't know. We'll just have to see. And you guys will just get updates from time to time on YouTube. But I definitely wanted to tell you that it definitely worked well. And it's held up. Some of you commented as if the video was just posted that day and said this will never work out. That's why I had to do an update video to show you that this has actually been going on for some time. Tomorrow will be the next live stream. Uh, I do those Saturday at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time in the United States. And I believe the streams have been repaired. And believe it or not, it had nothing to do with my gear whatsoever. And it completely had to do with my internet provider who swore it was not them, but it was them. Because I've tested several times this week and every single time I've tested, I got a green light. So that's huge. I'm really looking forward to doing a stream with you. If you have questions tomorrow, feel free to ask them. Thanks again for tuning into the channel. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you already are a subscriber, please like this video. If you think that an update was a good idea, I uh, kept thinking, how do I tell people that have watched the first video what happened next? So I'm gonna glue this video to the end of that video, and then I'll glue that video to the end of this video. And hopefully that circle will help people see what happened back then, what happens now, and then one day what happens in the future. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys real soon.